Hi guys, so today's video is something that I find very interesting and I hope that you guys will pay attention to what I'm going to show you. So um, here I have an HTML, uh, a bit of HTML code and some CSS. I'm going to explain very quickly what I have and uh, what I have is a grid container and uh, then a header, which is what you see here. Then I have a navbar, I have a main item, which has a div with a class article and that div has this piece of text here and underneath we have uh, two div elements each of them having an image so this is the first image and this is the second image so they are both wrapped in div elements with the class images notice that we don't have any margins between these two images here and then underneath we have an aside which is the sidebar you see here and then we have uh, a footer. Now in the CSS, I'm going to drag this up a bit. In the CSS, uh, we are applying the grids and uh, we are using min max again. So if you don't know what VH is, VH stands for viewport heights. So essentially what we are saying is that every grid row automatically should have a minimum size um, that is equal to 10%, uh, yeah, 10 of the viewport heights Otherwise, the maximum is automatic based on the contents. And then we have um, every grid item is going to have a blue background, a bit of padding. And uh, finally, we are using grid columns here. So we are asking them to stretch across the three columns. And then uh, finally, I have these temporary styles. And I will explain why you, you will understand why I named these temporary styles. So notice that in this main here, I'm saying that the main should stretch um, from the first grid line to this third one here. Uh, so it takes two columns and then the aside takes the other column. But here's a really interesting thing. What if I wanted my article here and my images to act like grid items? You see the thing in CSS grids is that only direct children elements of the container, which has display grid applied to it, only direct children elements act as grid items all right so if you have something nested inside these grid items these are not direct children elements of the container therefore they are not grid items so only the header navbar the main aside and the footer are grid items not the um, article or this div with the class images or that div with the class images so notice now that if I take this here, I'm going to remove that, this main here, green column. Okay, so now the layout is messed up, but here's what I want to do. If I take this article here with images, notice that here I'm using grid column one slash three, and we covered that in a previous video. So I'm asking it to take up two columns. It doesn't work. The reason why the article and uh, the divs with the class images don't respect that declaration is because they are not grid items. These selectors, article and images, belong to these children of the main elements. And the main element is the one which is the grid item, not them. So if we use this, it just doesn't work. I could even uh, use grids grids uh, row and say starts in the first row it doesn't work nothing is changing so what happens if we want this to become a grid item so that it can have um the article the, the first image and the second image can both have the grid gap and be placed you know dynamically like we want to uh, regularly with our grid items so the first thing that we can do and that is not practical, but I just want to show you what I'm talking about. So I can remove this. Notice I'm removing these main elements, okay? So I'm going to clear this out. And at the bottom here, I'm also going to remove that. All right, so I've now removed that. And instantly, these have become grid items. Notice the grid gap and you know, the space they are taking. All right, so I could write this now, and I could say my asides is now on the third uh, grid column line here, and I will lay out its face. 
but that would just mess up the semantics because we need these elements to be within the um, the main elements all right now we have the main element back and we are also back to the messed up layouts so this again doesn't work anymore the grid columns uh, here because these are no longer direct uh, child elements of the container so if i remove that it doesn't matter and so what i'm going to do i'm going to clear these temporary styles here and i'm going to uncomment this out uh, so we have uh, what i'm going to do is add this here and i'm going to remove that comment here so notice what we have i've added display contents and now the main elements has sort of disappeared from the entire layouts. So what display content does uh, mainly is uh, remove that item from the layout. It's just as if it didn't exist even in the markup. So now this div with the um, the one with the class article and the other div, this one with the class of images, and also this div with the class images are now acting like direct children or direct child elements of the container. So we can now apply grid related properties on them. So notice this again, I'm going to uncomment this out. So I'm going to take that here and put it here. Okay. So now I'm saying the article, this one here, and these two divs that contain the images should have this background padding of 1 em and they should also have this uh, applied on them grid column one to three if i said one to four changes are going to take place so now they are all occupying their full rows so now this works on them because they are now grid items because we applied display contents so now the main element has disappeared, the padding, the border, and um, the background as well. Notice there is no blue background uh, around them. So what happens? I can just uh, place this back to, uh, to two columns. And now I can fix the width of my images very easily. If there was a sound uh, in the background, I apologize for that. Um, it's a bit noisy here. And finally, we can use what we learned from previous tutorials here to place our sidebar what we want it to so the structure of our page hasn't changed uh, we still have the main uh, elements which has uh, div elements um, nested inside but in terms of um, aesthetics or layouts the article and these divs containing the images are now grid items not the main so what happens if I were to come here and remove that comment? You see that the blue background and stuff reappears because the main has now become the grid item as it is by default. So uh, use display contents in your layout anytime you want to take out a parent's elements, which is a grid item, and make its child elements or children elements as grid items rather without affecting your HTML. So that's the whole point of this video. I hope you learned something. If it wasn't clear to you, uh, make sure you drop your comments. I will get back to you. And uh, in the meantime, please make sure you like this video, share it, and subscribe. Cheers.